Hey, what's up YouTube? Here's another video by Red Tits and Wrenches. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to replace uh, your timing bolt, water pump, tensioner, roller, all that good stuff. This is gonna be done on a 2004 Volkswagen Passat with the 1.8 four-cylinder turbocharged engine. And uh, I've already gotten the bumper cover off as you can see and if you want to know how to, how to do that you can uh, look at my channel and uh, look for a video. I got a video on it. And uh, Basically, in order to get to the timing belt on these cars, you need to remove this, uh, the whole front piece, well, the bumper and uh, this piece, and then you need to put the car in service position, which means basically detaching this uh, lock carrier from the from the fenders and uh, the car, and basically pulling it forward so you get room here in order to get to the timing belt, which is in there somewhere. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start doing that. First step is gonna be removing uh, this piece, which is uh, held in by uh, these uh, Torx head screws. All right, so there's five screws that hold this piece in place. They're they take T27, and one here, one in there, one here, and then two on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those next. Next we need to remove these two bolts, this one and this one, and remove this bumper cover. Next we need to remove these uh, three bolts and this one nut that holds this uh, bumper piece in place and these take uh, T45 this is a 10 millimeter bolt uh, I mean nut right here. All right. it's out free and clear now we do the same exact thing for this side Next, we're going to go ahead and disconnect this AC pressure switch. Just going to do that. All right. Next, since we're going to be removing the water pump, we're going to go ahead and start draining the, the coolant out of the radiator. And uh, the drain valve for the radiator is here, right here, by the left side, on the left side. So I'm just going to go ahead and twist that off, and then open our uh, our coolant reservoir cap. That should help with the flow. Next we're going to remove this bumper guide and then these this two bolts that uh, connect this defender to the lock carrier. You can probably get away with just disconnecting this bolt on this side, but uh, it makes life a lot easier for me at least to when it's kind of time to come to put it back to just have this whole thing out of the way. And, uh, these big ones are T, T30 and these two small ones are T25. By the way, if you break these tabs on this bumper, guys, they're 20 bucks at the dealership. A lot of people break them. And that's why you see all the time, you see the hat, the side of the bumper stuck out a little bit, because these little teeth on these break, and it doesn't hold the, the bumper in, in the correct place. You know what, actually? I'm going to leave this side at least at that, because there's plenty of clearance here. So just this one on this side and we're going to do the same thing on the next, on the other side. Okay, on this side we actually have a 10 milliliter bolt here for some reason. And so we're going to remove that. We're also going to remove this, uh, this bolt that connects the windshield washer fluid reservoir to the, to the lock area. Okay, so this side is still attached, so we're going to remove this. On this side we're going to have to remove this. Uh, this bumper guy. All 
All right, now with that bolt removed, now we can remove this piece. There we go. Okay, for the next step, we need to remove this uh, this hose that comes from the turbo and runs underneath the car to the intercooler. And this is on the right side of the, the engine, the engine bay area. Let's see first, loosen this. All right, now hopefully I can just twist and pull and there we go. Next, we're gonna remove this outside air, air temperature sensor. Uh, looks like there's enough slack in the cable, but just to be on the safe side, we're gonna remove this. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove this piece that runs from the air filter to the, well, from the front of the car to the air filter, but if we just remove this piece, we don't have to unscrew this and deal with all that. So, I'm just gonna take this cover off, that out of the way, and then this pops off. There we go. Okay, next we need to remove this upper radiator hose and we just undo this clamp. And then just probably twist this in. Get it out of the way. Alright, next we're gonna disconnect this uh, the connectors that run to your headlights. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, next we need to remove these two uh, screws that are on uh, each side. And one here, one here. And these take T, T30. And here's the second one. Okay, so now the lock carrier should be ready to uh, be put in the service position. We're going to do one last check, go around, make sure there isn't any cables that are going to be uh, attached to the lock carrier while we try to pull it out. I'm sure there's going to be other stuff, uh, but uh, what I'm going to do, start doing is actually going to start prying it on it, prying on it, uh, little by little on the side, from the sides, and uh, I'm going to put some jack stands underneath, and if, we get to, if I get to pull it out without any problems, I'll put it on jack stands, and I'll use these 2x4s to put, to stick on the sides here. Alright, as you can see, there's plenty of room down here now to work with, but uh, it's still not out of the, not in the service position, I guess, correctly. Uh, I'm just realizing I need to, in order for it to be in the service position, that the, that hose down there needs to be disconnected. Let me show you, let's see if I can show you. This hose down here, and you do that by uh, pressing in this clip. I don't know if you guys can see. This clip needs to be pressed in and then just pull that out. It's really badly coated here, but get some PB blaster on it and see if I'm gonna use my channel locks to uh, to get it disconnected. Also, there's another bolt down here. <coughs> that bolt right there, that also needs to be disconnected. Alright, so we got that bolt out and we got the right side on the jack stand see and you know what I'm not even gonna mess with that hose down there because uh, this is plenty of space for me and I'm sure it'll be plenty for you guys too um, yeah yeah I'm not gonna mess with that because it looks like a pain in the ass to get off but uh yeah this looks uh, like service position to me 